What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the month again. Not that time of the month, it's TikTok time. And you know, these are some of my favorite tattoos because we don't have to take them so serious. And I'm always curious to see what you guys have done to yourselves. So let's get into it. All right, let's check out this first one. Well, I'm pretty sure we just saw this guy a couple of weeks ago and he's already regretting it. Oh, he's going for the old Joker smile. Pretty original. All right, I, I know it's not the same guy, but he definitely has the same kind of tattoo. Uh, and I would be lasering all of those off if that were me. That eyebrow piercing though is probably my favorite part. I mean, I don't know who's still getting piercing from the 90s. Anyway, what else has he got? Is that a rat? Was that a butt of some animal? I can't really tell what's going on uh, next to his eye. It doesn't look good. Is that what that is? I can't, I can't tell at all. Oh wait, yeah, I can kind of tell. Okay, you're right. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know. I mean, what a face full of terrible ideas. I mean, if you're gonna get your face tattooed, at least go to somebody who could put on a good tattoo because these are not. The arrow is all patchy. The B looks like a possum. I wish I could see the other side of his face. I'm sure it's just as comical. Is he saying something? <laughs> He's just making noises. I don't even think that's a language. I don't know, but he is going through some pain right now. So kids, remember to research your artist, otherwise you're gonna end up like old Timmy over here. <laughs> Whatever his name is, what do you think his name is? All right, enough of that one, let's see what else we've got. Ooh, cut here. Ballsy. Ah, from GTA, of course. I mean, obviously I love GTA, I love video games. I don't know if I would get that tattoo on me, but more power to you. Yeah, you're, you're asking for somebody to just... <laughs> Man, he... Suck his dick. Damn it. Yes. I mean... Let's stay in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take two. Oh, you're just asking for somebody to... Ryan's a jerk. I mean, the stencil looks good, but it looks like the letters are actually tattooed a lot more like the video game. I don't know if that was on purpose or if the tattooer just wasn't that good. Both these, yeah, they're just looking goofy as hell. Trevor would be pissed. What a ballsy tattoo, man. Especially because you don't really have that many other tattoos. All right, all right, enough with that weird tattoo. Let's see what else we've got. Craziest tattoo style you might like. I doubt it, but let's find out. Oh yay, white tattoos, so crazy. Um, obviously these aren't going to heal looking like that. A lot of times those whites fall out and you're left with something that kind of looks like a scar or just some kind of skin disease. I mean, fresh, they do look very cool and I do like that aesthetic, but again, they're just not gonna heal that way. So you're kind of just setting yourself up for failure here. That's a tough one. I'm not sure if I would do that tattoo no matter the money, because really no matter what, it's not gonna look that great when it heals up uh, and it's your name on it. So. That's something that I would probably stay away from. And again, your skin's gonna grow over it, so whatever color your skin tone is, it's going to tint that white ink. Obviously, it's a bunch of white people getting these tattoos. But who is this kid even talking about? Like, who is this guy? He just wants to be part of the video. He doesn't even have any tattoos. Go with the Gap Kids. When I design my characters on video games, I always give them like a scar across the eye because I think that looks badass, but I also think you have to earn it. If you come to me asking for that tattoo, I will give you a scar across your eye. The snake looks good, but again, I know they're gonna lose most of those scales, so you're just gonna end up with some like rubber tube. To be honest, it'll probably just end up looking like the chemical burn that Edward Norton got in Fight Club. This is a chemical burn. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, probably a bad idea. I'm gonna get so many messages from people just sending in their white heel tattoos saying, look how cool mine looks, and then I'm gonna review it on an episode of Critiques and tell you how bad it is. Let me get off my soapbox here for a second. Just weird choices, but they all look like they're under 21, so they'll learn. Next. All right, it looks like this kid's drawing a, um, a skeleton hand on top of this rose. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I'm not sure how they're gonna cover that rose with the white fingers. Well, let's find out. Do, 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 do. Lots of drawing, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's definitely gonna hurt. Probably a lot more than that first one did too because he's going in the webbing, he's going on the side of the hand. Oh man, it's not gonna feel good. But it's nice to see that the tattooer actually has his hand tattooed so he kind of knows how it feels even though it looks like his is a cover up as well. Not a good sign. All right, the drawing looks dope. I, I gotta admit, I like the drawing. Uh, I'm not sure what happened with the tattoo that kind of just looks like he's covered in 
We'll call that white silky fluid spit. Would you like an ejaculate? Okay, so again, that's it's, it's what I was worried about covering that old rose, and it looks like they just tried to pound a lot of white in there. And again, with what we've learned about white, it's not going to stay that white, and that rose is definitely gonna come right back through that hand. And it just doesn't look that great, to be honest. Uh, I'm sorry, hungry wolf. I mean, I would love to see what this hand looks like now because um, I guarantee it does not still look like that. Especially on those fingers, all that white on the fingers, you can almost guarantee it's gonna go away. That white is not gonna stick around. I mean, shit, even a lot of that black is gonna disappear. So you're really gonna be left with a patchy hand uh, that most likely looks worse than that rose did. Just my opinion. Let me break this down. What I think they tried to do is add texture to the top of that hand to help mask that rose. So they wanted to bring that same texture down on the fingers. But again, it's just not gonna work. A lot of that white's gonna fall out, so you're gonna be left with skin tone fingers, which is fine because no tattoo is underneath there. However, when all that crap falls out on top, uh, it's just gonna be messy. I mean, I probably wouldn't have done those letters up top either. It probably would have looked a lot more cohesive and nice if they would have just continued those bones up through the wrist. That way your shitty tattoo just looks a lot more uniform. I'm feeling spicy today. All right, let's see what else we've got. Ooh, white highlight time, and this tattoo looks beautiful already. I mean, there's definitely lots of detail in this tattoo, and that face looks super smooth. I wish the camera would focus. Is his armrest not covered? I disapprove. I mean, I don't know, I'm a fan of this tattoo. I kind of wish there was a little less detail. I think it would have looked a bit cleaner, but the detail that's sitting there really isn't bad. It's just one of those things that kind of draw my eye to that, and I wish my eyes were drawn to the face rather than the material that's on whatever that is. The doily. <laughs> the doily? Oh, doily rules. Okay, but I do think this is a great example of how much white you should be using for your highlights. It's clearly not overdone, and it's just used in the parts that are wet or shiny. But overall, really not a bad tattoo by any means. Let's see what else we've got. One of the coldest photos I've ever seen. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> uh... You kind of missed the mark on that one. He kind of looks like he belongs in the movie Avatar. Obviously one eye is wide open and the other eye is half squinting. Um, not the greatest job on the artist. Well, at least he didn't get a lion tattoo. I'd be covering my eyes too if that's the tattoo I ended up with. I wouldn't want to see it. <laughs> what if he took his arm down and his eyes actually looked like that? It seems the commenter says this is an insane tattoo. Uh, you've got very low standards. It seems like it's pretty widely known in the tattoo industry that athletes usually get some of the worst tattoos. If you guys happen to know any athlete with a decent tattoo or a couple of decent tattoos, let me know. I'll go check them out. All right, I think we all need a break here. And while we catch our breath, let me tell you about our sponsor, Mad Rabbit. Mad Rabbit is a tattoo aftercare company that I think a lot of these tattoos that we're looking at today could use. They've got everything from Pro Glide to sunscreen. So whether you're an artist or collector, they've got you covered. So make sure you head on over to madrabbit.com and use code PONY20 to save 20% off of any Mad Rabbit product. All right, let's get back into it. Yo, whoa. I mean, the tiger's not bad, but yo. <laughs> I wonder what all those dates mean. Or are those the amount of people he's killed? Damn, son. Or is that when the Bulls won all the championships? <laughs> Yo, his haircut is ridiculous. It's almost more ridiculous than the tattoos. He's holding on. He's got to shave those scraps, my boy. That snake cracks my shit up, though. For real. I mean, the tiger's really not bad. It looks like he's opening his mouth. I wish the dude could kind of wiggle his nose and close his mouth. That'd be funny. But, uh, yeah, that's intense. Not like the homeless people in L.A. tents. Like, intense. Yeah, I mean, that is wild. And if that tiger is healed with them whites, mad impressive. I wonder what kind of friends he has. And that headrest is so filthy. You gotta put down some barrier. Look how much dirty ink is on that thing that he's just laying his head on. That's probably not even from his tattoos. That's from the person before him, and then the person before that person, and so on and so forth. Artists, you gotta make sure you put down some barrier, no matter who you're tattooing, no matter what you're tattooing, because this is disgusting. Does he have a wiener in his mouth? Uh, that definitely looks like a um, uh, sausage in that cobra's mouth. Would you like an ejaculate? Yeah, I mean, I bet he's a cop with that haircut. It kind of makes it look like the tiger has a crazy haircut, to be honest. Oh, dude, I would just keep your eyes closed. <laughs> He's gonna find me and beat my ass. I'm very curious what all those dates are. Or they're not dates, maybe they're dates. 73, 74, 80, 17, they probably are dates. I'm telling you, it feels like the years that he's killed people. <sighs> all right, I've had enough of this one. Please don't find me and beat me up. Let's see what else we've got. All right, this one is incredible and clearly several sessions. I don't know how his partner feels every time he takes off a shirt they've got that gigantic eye staring them down. 
But I mean, if they like it, then hey. But it's great ornamental work as far as the top and bottom goes. I think that stuff is pretty flawless. And it even looks like his other tattoos are done pretty well. It looks like he's going to somebody that actually knows what they're doing. So good job, guy. It's refreshing to see some good work on TikTok because we know this is just filled with a bunch of shit. I'm not really sure what the feathers are doing there, but um, I guess it's one way to end it. And it's not even so much the idea of the feathers. They just seem pretty basic in comparison to the rest of that incredible work that he has all over the rest of his body. But aside from that, I do think this is pretty stellar work. All right, let's see what we've got next. This one says, I'm not obsessed with anything, for real. Men with tattoos. That's crazy, I got six of those. Yeah, what are you looking for, a good artist? Doesn't look like you found him. This guy's obviously concerned about uh, his visual appearance. You wouldn't think that's the case with those tattoos he's got, but hey. What's his chest say? Uh, Veni, Vidi, Vici? Okay. What does that mean? Is he a magician? I don't know, all these tattoos look fairly poorly done. Even that uh, tribal tattoo on his arm really isn't the best. Not much you could do with that now. Let's see what's on his back. I see a tiger and then I see what is going on in the left. I can't tell if that's like a tiger jumping through a ring of fire. It's a dragon, I guess. Yo, look how big that dragon's claw is at the bottom. That thing is huge. It's about half the size of the tiger. It's bigger than the dragon's face, man. Oh, and he's got the nice little ring light back there so he can take his nice videos. That's cute. This is his basement. This is his parents' basement, for sure. I love how he's got the Crocs on the top shelf. Boy, oh, he loves those Crocs. This is the kind of guy that counts every single one of his tattoos. So he says he's got six of them. Let's count them. One for the Veni Vidi Vici, two for the arm. I guess you'd call that three for the back. Four for behind the ear and two secret ones. <laughs> or he's counting the Veni Vidi Vici as three. That's my first tattoo, my second tattoo, and my third tattoo. You think he smells like Axe body spray? He's like, I'm so fucking mad at Pony right now. He just looks silly to me. Man, I'm so cool with my six tattoos, yo. <laughs> Out of my mom's basement. Buy a house, grow up. Next. Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa, what is this now? What is wrong with these people? What is she doing, a pee on her face? Oh, I look like a green pee. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I love how she, oh no. What is she doing? What did she do? What is going on in this video? And this guy's shaking his machine to get the ink out. I think there is so much in this video. Man, none of these people are wearing gloves, you gross little shit. Oh! That's not how you do that. I always joke about spitting on it. This guy literally took me serious. Is that a jellyfish surrounded by mushrooms? Or, or maybe a sunset with a river and some palm trees? Or like nails and a piece of wood? And a gigantic screw right in the middle because he definitely got screwed. I like that Pugsley shirt though. God, I cannot believe he spit on it. I wonder if that works better than green soap. This is why not everyone should have a tattoo machine. And this girl with a mole, oh man. I think she's drunk. Oh, uh, it's permanent. Huh. I love how she hates it and then loves it and then hates it again and then ended up with some sort of like butterfly or something. I don't know, or a flying squirrel. I don't know what happened. You know what's so crazy? I was so busy looking at that tattoo that I didn't even notice that ridiculous haircut. You think if we say her name three times, she'll appear? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Don't drink and tattoo. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Lessons to be learned today, kids. Don't do this. Oh, gross. And stop touching your fresh tattoos. That's so nasty, because I know you're not washing your hands afterwards. You're just gonna spread all those germs around your mom's house. If this is what you're trying to do at home, stop, knock it off, find an apprenticeship. Because this ain't right. None of this is right. <laughs> oh man, I love TikTok. Please don't take it away. Yeah, all right, I can't look at that anymore. But let's check out one more. So this is definitely one I've seen on the internet for the past few years. This one is incredible. I would love to see how this thing healed up, but uh, as this sits, that honey is beautiful. Or whatever that sticky liquid is. Probably spit from that other guy. The Jackie Latte? Yeah, I mean, this, this is definitely a beautiful tattoo. 
Uh, I love the blues in the back, how it kind of bounces off the oranges. It's got great contrast, and it looks like it was put in there pretty well. Yeah, that, that honey looks completely transparent, and if I didn't know any better, I would think that that was actual honey, which wouldn't go well on a fresh tattoo. But I mean, at this point, we're putting spit on our tattoos and all sorts of gunk, so wouldn't surprise me. Well, that was more than I expected. You know, TikTok never really ceases to amaze me. We had some good, some bad, but mostly just some really awful tattoos this week. In any regard, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Please consider subscribing if you have not already. And as always, I will see you all next week.